Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at the top tweaks that you can install on your jailbroken iPhone 12 or really any iPhone running iOS 14 to iOS 14.3. If you guys are not yet jailbroken, take a look at our jailbreak tutorial. It is down below in this video's description. Secondly, in that description, we have all of the tweaks that we're talking about in today's video in a list on our Best Tech Info website. That is the first link in this video's description. You'll find the full tweak list there along with all of the sources needed to install the tweaks. Secondly, I wanted to note that on our channel, we have an entire top tweaks playlist with a bunch of awesome videos covering thousands of tweaks. And honestly, I would say about 90% of them are still relevant today. They still work on this brand new jailbreak. Honestly, this has been the smoothest uh, jailbreak that I've seen be released in the past four or five years. So tweak support is phenomenal. So lastly, before we jump into things, I wanted to share with you guys this website, this awesome resource that I found. It shows you guys tweak updates pretty much in real time on a day-to-day -day basis. This isn't a sponsor by any means. I just found it incredibly useful. Uh, so if I or if any other YouTuber shares a tweak and does not share the source, the really cool thing is you can actually search for tweaks on here and find their associated source. So for example, if I uh, search for Dino Wall Light, uh, let's go ahead and search that. As you can see, the tweak pops up right here. The repo is right below it. It's on Twicked. But if you click into the tweak itself, uh, you can actually scroll down and go to the repository section right here and click on Twicked. And right there is the actual repo address. You can come over to Cydia on your iPhone then, pull that guy up. You can head to Sources click edit, add right there, and then add the source directly into Cydia. So just click add source. Then once that's done, we can go over to the search tab and you guys can then search for the tweak and it should pull up within your search results now. So that's an incredibly useful site. You can find all of the sources you need for tweaks. Again, in my particular video, we're putting all of the sources and all of the tweaks in one place on our Best Tech Info website. So very quickly, we're gonna cover some fun tweaks uh, at the start of this video, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you guys some of my essential tweaks, the first ones you should install right after jailbreaking that are gonna make your lives a lot easier and streamline the installation process of multiple tweaks. So if you guys are interested in that, skip to the end of this video. If you guys just wanna see some cool stuff that you can install right after jailbreaking, uh, stay right where you're at and let's get into things. Uh, the first one that was just recently released, kind of an update here is Cylinder Reborn. It has these awesome page animations. It's a pretty common tweak, but it's cool to see it still being updated. Second, right on the home screen, you can see uh, my icons have a custom theme. They've all been changed to this new uh, look and feel. And that's done with Snowboard. You can apply custom themes. This theme in particular is called Lotus Enhanced. So this one's one of my all time favorites. It's called Auto Face Unlock. As you guys can see when my device is locked, the second it recognizes my face, it actually takes me directly to my home screen instead of having to swipe up at the very bottom. Digital Battery 13 places my battery percentage up in the status bar in the top right where my battery icon typically is. So jumping over to the control center, I have a couple here. Better CCXI gives us this new layout of the control center with these connectivity toggles, this new music widget right here. It's awesome that that is now free. Cool CC is uh, what outlines all of the modules in white and makes them transparent then. The last one I wanted to talk about here is called Power Module. This is a quick way directly within your control center to respring your device and do other things that are useful when jailbreaking. I mean, look how fast that jailbreak respring is, guys. This is just nuts. I mean, the fact that you can open City like that, that is ridiculous. All right, back to the video. So on the homepage here, along with Snowboard with my custom themes, I have a couple other tweaks. One of my favorites is called Shy Labels. So if you see when I scroll, uh, the icon labels appear, but then they fade away. So you only need them when you're looking for an app, but then they look so much cleaner. Uh, secondly, Dotto Plus, uh, for my notification dots, it 
does that new little effect right there, actually matches the dot color to the application and then gets rid of the counter. Basically, if you have a notification for the app, it just puts a simple dot there. And then lastly, with this fade out effect right there, that's with Evanesco. And then probably the one that you guys are wondering, what is uh, this tweak right here? Well, every swipe, every touch that I do, uh, this is done with Fluid Widget. And you install Fluid Widget with Zen HTML. So Zen HTML uh, is basically, it lets you put widgets on the home screen uh, and then Fluid Widget is what the actual widget is called. So real quickly, a music tweak, if I just go in and start playing something, uh, Tiny Widget 14 on the lock screen makes your music widget much more compact and clean looking. And then also within the Notification Center, I have Color Me Notifs, uh, which will color your notifications based on the application color. So a few more fun tweaks that you can install, a couple here within the Messages app. This one's called Whoops. So when you go to send a message, you actually have three seconds to cancel it from being sent. Uh, so that one's really useful. If you see like a spelling mistake at the very last second, you can cancel it from being sent. Also, let me just write out some things here. Uh, so with the iPhone 12, uh, this changed where you have to hold down space to open up the trackpad thing here. Uh, let me adjust this. So this new tweak called any key trackpad lets you do that same functionality on any key and not just the space bar. So super cool tweaks. I hope you guys like those. Let's continue on to just a few more on the home page here. Uh, this next one, I absolutely love this. It's called Dyna Wall Light. Now this lets you set a light and dark mode wallpaper uh, so I actually have this on my home screen right now. If I change it over to dark mode, as you can see, my wallpaper changes to blue. And in light mode, it is red. Uh, so that's really cool. You can pick any two wallpapers from your photos library. So a couple things here as well. You might have noticed my dock did not change colors. Uh, when I entered dark mode, it's always the dark theme. And that's done with Dawn. You can just basically make everything constantly dark or everything constantly light or choose in between uh, on your settings there too. Like the music widgets, it's always dark even though I'm technically in light mode. And if you guys don't wanna have to download a bunch of wallpapers, if you just want a custom pack of a bunch already made for you, well, that's done with dark papers. Look at all these wallpapers that are already ready for you to install. Some of these look pretty cool. So if I go ahead and just set, set both. Again, these are light and dark mode wallpapers, so they should be different uh, based on whichever setting you are in, so that's... Yeah, that's the dark mode, there we go. So the reason why dark mode is turning off automatically for me for this video is because I have this very last tweak called Lights Out. Now it uses your iPhone's proximity sensor to turn on or off dark mode. So if I go ahead and cover this up, it switches to dark mode. So if you're in a very dark environment, it's going to put your phone in dark mode. If you're in a very light environment, it's going to put it back into the regular light mode. So I thought those were super cool additions to some of the awesome features that iOS natively has. So a couple other ones here, double tap lock. If you just double tap anywhere on your device, it actually locks your device for you. And I don't think it can recognize my face just the way the camera is sitting right now. But again, I'll do that one more time. Just double tap anywhere on your home screen and it locks your device. So a few others, uh, if I go into the control center and turn on do not disturb, you guys might have seen that. Low power mode also enabled and disabled at the same time. And this is with low power DND. Now, the really cool thing about this, let me go ahead and turn that off so you guys can see this. This is kind of a new tweak. It's called DND switch. So instead of this being your ringer, it can then be do not disturb. So do not disturb is on, do not disturb is off with the ringer switch. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, that pretty much wraps up the fun tweaks. Now I wanted to share with you guys some of my like essential tweaks. Right when you start jailbreaking, these are gonna make your lives a lot easier and uh, streamline the installation process of new tweaks. So let's get into these. 
All right, let me show you guys some of my favorite tweaks that are more jailbreaking related. A couple in the settings app. This one's my all time favorite called Shuffle. It puts all of your tweaks right into a folder at the very top of your settings list. So you can adjust all of the settings of individual tweaks right there at the top instead of having to scroll like all the way down below this. Secondly, within the settings app, you might notice everything has a rounded edge to it here. So it looks super cool in light and dark mode as well. A few others here, I have circle settings to give these icons a circular look. And then I have, what is this called? Uh, centered large titles at the very top. As you can see the settings title, or if I go into like recents on my phone, uh, all of the titles are centered instead of left justified. So a couple cool tweaks there. Uh, these are more quality of life tweaks. So again, if I'm in do not disturb mode and I go to my notification center, there's nothing here. There's no older notifications text. There's no uh, little pop up saying I'm in do not disturb mode. That's done with these two tweaks on screen now. Uh, again, with minor UI changes, I like to get rid of the home bar at the bottom of the iPhone here. It's just gone with high bar X. Uh, here's super useful tweaks when you're installing things. Probably my number one is called Dismiss Progress. So let's go ahead and like install Zebra. I already have it installed, but let's just reinstall it here and click confirm. So once it's done downloading and installing, typically you have to restart your springboard after every tweak. Well, Dismiss Progress puts this close button right here. So you can just click close and begin installing more tweaks. Uh, and then again, respring once you're done installing everything to enable all your new tweaks. This is a pretty common one, but swipe for more gives you these little settings right here. Uh, you can quickly delete or install and queue up multiple tweaks at once. I'm really sad to say that Flame, uh, which typically lets you batch add sources, is not working right now for whatever reason. It also lets you export uh, all your tweaks list and your source list directly from Cydia. So with that being the case, I would highly recommend Zebra as the package manager. It's basically a Cydia replacement. It is pretty much the same exact thing, but it is much more modern. You can batch import multiple sources, all of these new modern functionalities are built in and it just feels so much more clean. So definitely check out Zebra. It can be installed through Cydia and then you can install everything else via Zebra. But if you really like the nostalgia of Cydia, there's still a couple other things that you can install. Wish Dia basically creates a wish list of your top tweaks. So if you're searching for a tweak, you can quickly hit that bookmark button right there. If you go back to your Cydia homepage and pull up your bookmarks, it's right there at the top. So you can quickly jump back to uh, like what you were recently looking at essentially. So super cool tweak there. Very lastly is tweak compatible with Insidia. It has a little check mark next to all of the tweaks that you have installed, uh, showing that they are compatible with your iOS version. Always good to have iCleaner Pro, so you can quickly clean your iOS device. Essentially, if you ever install and remove a tweak, this is gonna make sure it removes all of its package dependencies as well, and clean up other things too. Just a nice tweak to have. And very lastly, to end this video off and to end your day, once you're done doing all your stuff, you can click this little clear button right there to exit out of all of your applications in one press. But that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching it to the end. If you made it to this point, I really appreciate all your guys' support. This was a lot of fun making this video. Anyhow, guys, I'll be back real soon with more top tweaks. Again, stay tuned for other videos as well. Please subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, take care. Have a great day. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.